Hi, I'm Ray Tanzen, Product Manager here at Personas. With the new version 2.0 firmware for the Studio Live Series 3 mixers, we've updated how the scenes work. So now it's projects and scenes. As part of that update process, your mixer is going to take all of the scenes and convert them into projects. So the reason it's going to convert them into projects is uh, what we have now is a complete scene list and your scene contains both configuration type of settings such as your flex mix modes and your digital patching as well as your general mix parameters. And so with the new project and scene format, your projects contain all of the mixer configurations uh, while the scenes that are within projects are all of the mix settings. And so when you convert from a scene, uh, all of those are going to become a project with one new scene in them uh, to make the same uh, settings that you had in your scene, but now as a project and scene format. So this conversion process is going to happen automatically when you update the firmware of your mixer. Um, there's also some ways to convert scenes that are not currently on the mixer uh, when you update the firmware. So let's take a look at how this happens. First, you'll see that I've got a Studio Live 32 here. You'll see in my scenes, I've got a few different scenes. So I'm just going to go ahead and update the firmware here. And uh, you'll see that after I do the firmware update, it is going to convert all of my scenes to projects. Uh, so when the mixer reboots, you'll see a progress bar that shows as it's converting those scenes into projects. Let's take a look. So now you see that it went through and showed us that it was converting the scenes and now we get the confirmation message that uh, my three legacy scenes have been successfully converted to the new format. So I can say, okay. All right, so now that I've updated the firmware and we've converted the scenes that are on the mixer, uh, if I go into the scenes menu here, we'll see now those scenes that I had in the previous version of firmware now show up as projects. So if you have any scenes that aren't on the mixer itself, maybe you've transferred them to your computer, you can also bring those back into the mixer for the mixer to convert into the new project format. Uh, let's take a look how that works in UC Surface. In UC Surface, first you're gonna to want to go to the settings view and then select the backup tab. And you'll see here we have the mixer backups, but we now also have the uh, legacy scenes. So you'll see on the left, the scenes that are on the mixer that are legacy scenes are waiting to be uh, converted. And then on the right will be a list of all of these scenes that are locally on the computer. So just select the scenes that are locally on your computer on the right and either drag them to the mixer slots on the left or use the arrow in between to transfer them onto the mixer. Once you've done that, you'll want to reboot the mixer because that will trigger the conversion process to take those legacy scenes that you just transferred from the computer to the mixer and convert them into projects. So again, you can have the scenes that are locally on the mixer are going to update automatically as part of the firmware update process. And then anything that's not on the mixer, you can use UC Surface to transfer to the mixer and then trigger the conversion process by rebooting the mixer. So now your legacy scenes can become projects. The new project and scene workflow is really awesome and includes some new features and functionality we encourage you to check out. We do have a separate video that goes into the details of how to work with projects and scenes with the new workflow and the new format. We encourage you to check that out as well. Thanks for watching and enjoy.